This is a typical morning inside the Browns' home. Their children watching one of their favorite Disney movies, Lilo and Stitch. And last Wednesday, it was no different. And the kids wanted to see Lilo and Stitch. So Georgie Brown put on the movie she had recorded for them back on September 7th. You can see all the details about the movie. It's rated PG, and it aired in the middle of the afternoon. But one thing it does not do is mention anything about sex. It gives no warning. There is no warning. And it, it comes in so quickly that what they seen was so vulgar. At just over a minute into the Disney movie, take a look at what happens. This box pops up indicating, quote, Part of the recorded event has been lost due to signal loss, end quote. Then seconds later, the picture pixelates, and then a man and a woman having sex pop up on the screen. The video is so graphic, we can't show it. And it goes on for almost six straight minutes. I sat up and looked, and sure enough, um, there was porn on, on the TV. And my first thought was, the children have changed the channel. So, um... Kind of ran in here, <laughs> tried to get the remote, was encouraging them to leave the room, and trying to change the channel. But Brown figured out really fast her kids didn't change the channel. The clip was actually inside the movie. The 22-month-old, you can imagine Maggie Simpson sitting on the sofa watching porn. That was him because he just sat there sucking his pacifier, kind of clueless. The five-year-old grabbed his ears and ran out of the room screaming, I didn't do it. <laughs> and the three-year-old was sitting here crying. The pornography finally ended. The credits rolled. And then Lilo and Stitch, it was back on. The question both Brown and I are asking is, how did this happen? I talked to David Gutting by phone. Now, he's the contractor for Dish who looked at Brown's receiver, and even he was at a loss for words. Yeah, as I said, I've been in TV industry about 15 years, and I've never once seen that. It kind of had, had me astonished but And I asked what he thought might have happened. To my knowledge, that, that was nothing to do with a customer, you know, mashing buttons, because, you know, if, if they would have stopped one to start another, it would have set up another recording, and it wouldn't have just followed on through. And, folks, there's a chance anyone watching this program back on September 7th likely saw the same thing. Brown says she's still waiting on answers from Dish, but in the meantime, is trying to work through this with her kids. And when I told them that you guys were coming and to fix the TV, then um, they mimicked the action and the sound back to me.